This is my brand new Black Desert Online account, but it has some rules and restrictions. First off, I cannot purchase any pearls, which means no additional weight, inventory slots, or any other items that could benefit my experience. I can only use what is given to me by naturally playing the game. Secondly, I cannot take advantage of the accelerated progression through the seasonal server, which includes any catch-up gear like Tuvala armor or any pre-enhanced accessories given through level rewards. But most importantly is that I have zero access to the central market, which means I cannot buy or sell items unless from an NPC. And the goal? I want to reach 700 gear score. I know this is going to be a tedious task, but I'll be enjoying every step of the way. And if at any point you want to read over the rules for yourself, the link will be down in the description below. And with all that out of the way, welcome to Black Desert Online, Iron Man Edition. In the previous episode, we started our journey here on the brand new account. We swiftly completed the Mount of Eternal Winter questline, which rewarded us with a much needed accessory. Soon after some questing, we were able to reach level 56, which unlocked our succession questline. And we made sure to pick up some weapons and armor along the way, but with missing a few pieces of gear, I made sure to resume the main story questline and continue our adventure. Okay, so starting off with the Balanos questline, we do eventually get the reward of the Elsh weapon box which I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using up until I exchange it for a boss weapon, which on this account is going to be a while. Now I do need, I do, where is it? I am going to need a lot of blacksmiths for this one. Oh, the percent chance of success dropped a lot there. I need to find a valuable way to fail sack. And then due to it being the year of the blue dragon, we get these little event pouches and I ended up getting our third pet here on the brand new account. And I think I accidentally skipped over this new adventure box when I was first skimming through the items in the black spirit storage, but after further inspection, I do receive a Cuckoo Pet, which ends up being the fourth one we get on this account. And since I still need the fourth and final piece of our Gronel armor, which is the boots, I decided to head back to mains in hope of acquiring the last piece. Oh my gosh, they die so quick. Oh, we need the boots. Oh my gosh. We now have full Gruntal armor. I gotta get out. Oh my god. That's huge. That's actually so huge. No duplicates, no nothing. What? Put these to plus five. And then we have plus five full Gruntal. So we now have plus 5 AP, 150 HP, and then another plus 2 AP. That is tremendous. Oh my god, it's looking so good. 5,000 loyalties. Oh my gosh. That's actually going to help out so much. Now, I don't exactly know what I'll be spending my loyalties on, but I know if I spend them correctly, it'll make a huge difference. If you have any recommendations, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But with the progression pass, I was able to check off a lot of the challenges which reward me with either a single Cronstone or Kafferstone, but the more important note is the rewards you get for every X amount completed. Wait, this is actually going to help so much with my class. Plus one casting speed, an additional point in critical hit and plus five all AP, I feel so happy with this. 
and since I've just been rocking a base offhand weapon, I decided to do some research on what would be the best early game offhand for me, and I came to the conclusion that the Black Warrior Hornbow would be the best fit until I can replace it with a Kudum. Now, I know some other weapons may provide more AP DP, but they lack what I believe to be the most important stat on Musa, and that's accuracy. So seeing as though Wandering Rogues can drop this offhand, I continued my grind there until we got one. Oh, wait, we got, got an accuracy sub box. Okay, please be for me. Oh my gosh. Unfortunate. Ugh. Dude, I have so many of these though, man. I still haven't gotten the hornbow yet, but... Oh! And then at plus 3 AP from the Schultz spell, I will probably replace this sooner than later, but because we didn't have anything there, this is a big increase. Okay, I have another 3 accuracy boxes. Still no hornbow. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have four more boxes. We gotta get one for our class, right? Oh, we got two actually. Oh my god, that's huge. Plus eight with no worry. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, plus eight. We'll take that. And that is one minus AP, but we get the extra DP, which is huge. Now, I completely forgot about this short quest line to get an early on guaranteed accessory. So I'm going to be choosing the ring here simply because I already have two earrings and the bell I'm going to replace with a Sula. And I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take for me to get a Sula rings, but because I currently don't have anything there, I'm just going to choose that for that reason. And the unique feature about this general's accessory is that the AP does not increase with every enhancement level, but the extra AP against monsters does. I know this will eventually be replaced, but for those early game grind spots where every bonus that matters, this will provide a lot of help. I am still actively questing through the main storyline, which will eventually reward us with these accessories, but until then, I think I'm going to head over to Helms and Elric Shrine to collect some Asulas. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.